let's come before the Lord and do Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we reflect on the day that's been, on the things we've done well and the things we've done perhaps less well, on the people we've blessed that have blessed us, or on those perhaps we haven't been a blessing and they haven't been to us. So let's, no, no change at all. Let's reflect on our failings and I'll think of all the canings I've had. Ah. So let's bring the Lord the places and the things where we've got to say sorry, as we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. So our psalmody for this evening is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5 and 19 to the end. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence. Keep those in your own. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I've been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Peter 5 verses 6 and 7 Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. So we come to the Nunc Dimittis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So we bring before the Lord all that the day has contained, the things, the situations, the circumstances, the people, the needs. And as we begin our service tonight, can I ask you please to keep a pair of people, John and Molly, John's Molly's dad. And I'd ask you please to keep them in your thoughts as Molly's mum, John's wife, Sarah, has had a tragedy and her life is drawing to its close prematurely for she's so young. So Father, we pray for Sarah that as she inevitably and irreversibly is heading to leave this life. We pray for John and Molly that they will be strengthened and comforted, that they would be there for each other and that the family, the wider family, would surround and bless them. Father, we commend Sarah to your grace, love, care and mercy. We pray for these two people tonight and the journey before them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the world around us today. It's so, so awful. It's so terrible, the things that are happening. The numbers of people who have left the world this day are immense. And as we think of the needs of the world around us as France is battling with curfews and restrictions to try and contain this pandemic. As the situations with Azerbaijan and Armenia continue as Turkey and Greece still face each other India and China stand before each other as the Taliban and the Afghan forces struggle with each other and all that's around them. Father, we read tonight of helicopters carrying Afghan troops who were wounded collide in mid-air. Father, everything, everything around this world of ours is so broken at this time. 
We pray for your healing of our world. We pray for your peace, for your engagement with the leaders of the world. We pray for our own nation. The sadness of a young woman and three of her children dying in a car crash yesterday. Just we've learned months after having lost everything in a house fire. And so the husband and one child remain seriously ill. Father, we we pray for the brokenness of our land, our own country. Boris Johnson is disappointed that the EU haven't given him everything he wanted, I think. The EU wanted a deal but not at any price, and the UK wanted a deal on their own terms with nothing really being traded. Father, we pray for our union. Scotland is at loggerheads as Northern Ireland is almost de facto being handed towards a single island existence as the Good Friday Agreement is dashed to the ground as those who worked in Op Banner, who policed, who soldiered in that place they're broken who remain and they're at rest who have gone the provinces and we pray for Northern Ireland and its peace we pray for the UK and its Brexit Father we pray for our broken and damaged and foolish world Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Father, we bring to you our friends, our family, our neighbours. We ask you to reach out and to touch them, to bless them, to be God in their lives. We think of our friends, our families, our church members, our own communities. We pray we come before you and we ask you to be God in their lives. We come before you sometimes frightened, sometimes confused, sometimes angry. We ask that you would help us to find peace For you are indeed a good God. And as Psalm 139 says, Before we were, you knew us, and wherever we go, the darkest places, the farthest places, you are with us. And when we go to the grave, you are there with us too. So we thank you, Father, for your love. We thank you that all the days written in the book before one of them came to be, for you saw our lives end just as you were there at its beginning. So we bring to you those on our hearts and minds, those we love, those we pray for, those we care for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we go to our beds, as we prepare for a night of sleep, we bring all that we have on our hearts and minds and lay them at the foot of the cross. We entrust them and us into God's hand and we head for our beds. 
looking to wake tomorrow with a day of challenge and blessing and opportunity and undoubtedly disappointments at times. But that's life. The seasons in life, in weather, each have their joy and each have their moments of sadness and reflection. So we come to you, Lord, with the prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, of forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before. We may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So thank you guys for being with us tonight. Sleep well, be blessed, and may tomorrow be a day of blessings and joy in all that you are, all that you do, and in the lives of all that you pray for. Sleep well, guys. Bless you.